Hi everybody, John Bailey here, gemstone artist and founder of the International Fastening Academy. This is the quick conclusions video, including my recommendations for integrating ResinTech Laps into your kit and your workflow. This video is especially relevant for students who are going to come to the International Fastening Academy live trainings. ResinTech Laps are a great one of the newer bits of our kit and this includes even the old Raytech laps. These things were great for really fine cutting and for pre-polishing, though they often caused orange peel on hard materials like spinel and sapphire. The newer resin tech laps, like these, um, their coating, their diamond coating, isn't paint. It's a really thick layer of diamond embedded in resin, and whatever they've done with the new technology, uh, companies on both sides of the Pacific, have managed to mostly resolve the orange peel issue. Now both of these laps as well as the 3000 versions uh, from both these companies they did orange peel on a piece of spodumene that we tested them on but not on any of the other materials including Lab Alex and synthetic corundum. Now I don't think that has eliminated the need for a good plated light lap like this Crystallite Standard 600 and that's because there are still some materials that are just going to not like the resin. So we still need this 600 lap, this, this uh, metal plated type lap. We still need this in our stable and also because it tends to be sort of a workhorse for stock removal. Um, now to this, which of the resin tech laps would I recommend adding to the extent you have the wallet to support it because these laps are expensive although I managed to completely justify the cost of both of these laps uh, to both of them for me to have both of them in my stable now um, for students coming into the fastening Academy events you will want the metal plated 600 lap for your kit absolutely this just belongs in the kit you're gonna need it now however when you're a new student and you have a brand new one of these guys, this is going to create a great deal of subsurface damage. And that's going to make the meats harder to see, especially when you're new at looking for them. And it's also going to be easier to overcut meats. It's also going to take a great deal of time in the pre-polish stage to get past that subsurface damage. And that's going to cost time in the room. And time in the room is a very precious commodity during our Fasting Academy events. So for that reason, I strongly recommend this Dreamer 800 lap. It cuts almost as fast as the Metal 600, but it leaves far less subsurface damage. Um, it's easier to see the meats. It's less likely to overcut the meats, and it's faster getting past the subsurface damage during the pre-polishing phase. So in the context of the Fastening Academy training room, one of the things you're buying with this lap, and they're about 500 bucks as of this recording, um, but one of the things you're buying with the cost of this lap is some time. You're buying room time, and that's cost effective. Now, is this cost effective? Why is this lap cost effective for me personally? I'm using this lap in my own studio for the same reason. You need to rough your work pretty closely with a cheap 260 topper, for instance, uh, but then the rest of the work, once you get here, is going to go faster because that pre-polishing step is also going to be faster. Why do I recommend the HyperEdge 500? Now, for those with the wallet, and who will especially will be concerned later with production speed after they go home from the academy, um, this cuts far less quickly than the Dreamer 800, so it's going to require even closer rough cutting in terms of efficiency. However, it leaves a fine enough finish so that smaller and softer stones, let's say tourmaline and softer, uh, it's possible to go directly from this lap straight to polish, skipping the pre-polish step altogether. Now I'm not going to recommend doing a whole bunch of that technique in the academy room. Some of it, you, we may, uh, if you have this lap, we'll uh, exercise that technique, but during the training we mostly want to get used to efficient pre-polishing and skillful removal of subsurface damage. So we won't be doing a whole bunch of that skipping. However, once you get home, you may do what I do with this lap, which is for the stones where it's going to allow me to skip directly from cutting 
on this uh, 500 straight to polish, that saves a whole step and that saves a bunch of time and time translates to money. Other videos in this resin tech series will show details of the flatness, the removal rates, uh, the finishes that are left by these two laps, and even how to flatten uh, the lap when you need to. Uh, there's links in the description below this video, so just look there and you'll see links to the other um, those videos. Now about the finer grades of laps in these two manufacturers' um, product lines. I tested 3,000 level laps, both from the Dreamer product line and the Hyper Edge product line. Their performance was very, very similar. Both were quite good, though the Dreamer did require flattening, just as this 800 did, and the Hyper Edge did require resurfacing before it stopped throwing really nasty scratches. Now, I don't know what that was originally from the factory, but both of these had to have the surface worked on them um, uh, on the 3000 level to, to get the performance that we wanted out of them. The uh, 3000 from these two companies, this is what I would call sort of extreme pre-polish laps. They leave a really glassy finish that will move to a polish super quickly. So if you're coming from a resin tech 800 or 500 lap, that pre-polishing step is going to happen pretty quickly. But I didn't find them super fast at removing the kind of damage that a brand new metal plated 600 lap leaves. So for my way of sequencing, the 3000 pre-polished laps from these two companies, you know, they're finer than I would prefer if I'm going to do workhorse cutting with the metal bonded 600. And I will probably acquire a hyper edge version uh, somewhere between 1000 and 2000 grit uh, in the future because it fits to my way of sequencing from the metal bond to a resin tech then to polish. The um, Dreamer company does not offer anything between this 800 and their 3000 pre-polished lab so I wouldn't be able to test that because they're not offering it but I, I plan on acquiring a hyper edge uh, 1,000 or 1,500, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now, I also tested a Hyper Edge 8,000, which left a finish every bit as good as most of the commercial polish you're going to find in the corner uh, jewelry chain store, the Zales or whatever's down the block from you. Uh, if you look at their commercially cut overseas stones, the Hyper Edge 8,000 produces a polish Comp a finish comparable to that. Uh, for us high-tech guys, that's not a real polish. It's just a really fine pre-polish. Um, but that lap did perform really well. So the Resintech pre-polish laps are very useful and recommended. I have them and I use them. And they still don't replace the need for a good metal pre-polish lap. For instance, a Zinc Plus. This one here charged with 3000 Voodoo. This is in part because the pre-polish stage of stone working is where we're most likely to see orange peel behavior or some other undesirable finish, where the stone doesn't know whether to abrade or to suffer ductile deformation, which is part of the polishing process. This is where we need more ability to vary particle sizes and friction coefficients. So in case that was too much to absorb, I'm going to repeat the skinny here. You need a topper 260 or 360 on top of a master lap for cutting. You need a metal plated 600 for workhorse cutting. As a time saver, especially in the basic Fastening Academy event, I recommend a Dreamer 800 for primary cutting with less subsurface damage. It'll cut quickly, but leave a smooth enough finish that you can quickly do pre-polish and get on to polish. As a luxury and an efficiency booster in professional production, I recommend a Hyper Edge 500 for fine cutting with an ability to go directly to polish on many stones. Also to go very quickly through pre-polish, um, even on harder stones. You need at least one metal pre-polish lap, something like a Zinc Plus, with Voodoo. It wouldn't hurt to have two in order to have uh, different grades of pre-polish because that's quite useful. As a luxury and an efficiency booster, I recommend one or more of the resin tech pre-polish laps. 
Ed Perry offers a range of these, and I think anything 1,000 to 3,000 would be very useful. Daniel Hugh offers 3,000 and 8,000 grades of those labs. Links to the resin tech companies are in the description below this video. If you're in the U.S., you can purchase the Crystallite 600 and the Zinc Plus or other metal labs directly through the Faceting Academy website. I hope this video is helpful for designing and budgeting your LAPS kit. If you found the video useful, you might like and subscribe to get notices of new videos. If you have questions, comment below or reach me through the Faceting Academy website, where you can subscribe to our newsletter and find free faceting diagrams and more faceting videos. You may decide to become a site member to get access to exclusive content and you may even reserve your seat in our next live training event. See you there.